All right. Hi, everybody. Uh, I thought I would like to uh, give a quick update as to what's going on. I've been a little inactive on YouTube for a couple of days, months, a couple of months. <laughs> uh, so I thought I would give a quick update on everything that's been going on. Um, I started working on video game development, and it has kind of... Uh, pulled me away from gaming a little, ironically. Um, <laughs> so let's see here. I created this game, uh, well it's not quite created yet, let me just switch here, all right. Um, an idea via my girlfriend in which I made the comment, you know what, my horror game might be uh, just in t out just in time for Christmas and she looks at me and goes, why didn't you do a Christmas themed horror game then? Well, I just thought that was a great idea. <laughs> so she gave me a few ideas. Um, it is nowhere near, absolutely nowhere near where I want it to be. Uh, this is literally just two to three weeks, a um, couple hours a day, like development. This, this, this is all I have so far. It's going to be uh, based around um the greed and all that for like how the heck do I explain this so it's gonna be like okay I got it. so it's gonna be a matter of uh all the greed from the world has caused Santa to go into radiate like kind of nuclear radiation for or nuclear power and all that kind of stuff um, and all that radiation causes him to go mad. Now, before that, I'm going to add, um, so he started cloning elves to try and keep up with the demand of toys that he has to give every year and the want and need and all that, um, and so, how do we uh, put this into words? God, I'm not really good at wording things, but I swear it's a good idea. <laughs> and so I guess uh, the protagonist, like you, the person who plays it, will kind of be like just a civilian, kind of maybe an investigator or something, who Santa, Santa specifically targeted, well, like not specifically, but like they targeted his child and the child was found dead, and so he starts to look around, and then he traces it back to Santa. Um, and then he tries to go after him, and yada yada yada. Um, I got a couple more ideas, but I'm not going to bore you with all those details. I'm going to do my best to uh, get this game out within hopefully a couple of months. Um, at least the baseline for it. At least the baseline. It's so nowhere near going to be that complex yet. Because remember, I just started video game development and I'm still new, still learning the ropes. But um, this is so far what I have. What I have. Um, I'm kind of going towards the uh, the baseline of Slender, Slender the Arrival. Great game, great game. So just checking it out. So when Slender first started off, it was the eight pages. You go around, get the pages, watch out for Slender. Um, and yeah, if he gets you, you die. So that's kind of where I'm going with this, like baseline, except in a different way. If you kind of get what I mean. So you'll still like you'll go around. There might be an objective. I just can't figure out how to do that yet. I'll work on that as time progresses. Um. But I have, what do I have so far? Okay, you go in. It's really slow. My rams. If you listen closely, you can hear my computer crying. <laughs> there we go. My, my rams not big enough for this. Oh god, oh god, I forgot about that. Yeah, so they follow you. Kinda. Okay, well they follow you and stop, that's... 
so far what I got for them. They don't move or anything. Oh god, oh god, what happened there? Get out of here. Wow. Okay, whoa, okay. That's very glitchy. I'm using a lot of graphics, apparently. So yeah, you shoot them, then you kind of... That's the... See, this is... I don't get what this is. Like, this, for some reason, whatever is here has collision. I haven't figured that out. And there it goes, my computer crying again. Just, just stop. Oh, the player start has collision, doesn't it? Okay. Wait, it can't have collision. Okay, well, maybe not. I don't know. Use config default. I don't know. Anyway, so... That's where I started so far. Let me just click all that so it's not yellow everywhere. This is the map I got. Um, this wasn't a download, uh, except for, you know, the textures and the trees and the grass and the rocks. I used the base, I used the baseline, uh, one of, one of the, uh, uh, one of the YouTubers that I had been watching to kind of get a baseline for this, like, you know, how to use Unreal Engine, etc., etc. So he, or not him, well, yeah, him. So he's, like, the reason this was possible. <laughs> I will link him in the description if you guys want to check him out. Um, British, so, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and he, oh, gosh. Alright, so let's go for camera okay, speed. Six, five, something. There we go. Okay. So he uh, did a lake video as well to show me how to do the lake. Show me a lake. And then the mood lighting, because you see as I go out. And the mood lighting changes is the base. And this is what I have. Uh, the lake was originally going to be a lot bigger, so like this entire section here. But then I got into uh, first person perspective and went, that's a big ass lake. So I covered that up, flattened it, and I ended up with this nice little mountain range here. So I thought I'd uh, keep that in there, because it looks really, really nice. The snow looks good. Um, and although there's no snow on the trees, um, I do find the color it gives off pretty cool. I might go ahead and change some of that later. I mean, it kind of looks like there's a little, little bit of a brush of snow on it. Uh, anyway, so that's what I got there so far. Uh, I did start a uh, patron page. Uh, if you guys could check that out, that would mean so much to me. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's baseline for uh, five dollars, I believe, just to get the game when it comes out, like the beta game when it comes out. And then uh, yeah, up to, so far, $15 is the max, which you'll get the full game for free when it's out. You will only pay, like, you'll only pay for that once, and then you can go down to the $5 Pokemon button after that to get all the updates and stuff. Um, and then coming soon, as soon as my graphics designer is ready, uh, he's creating me a really nice poster for the $30 tier, I will add. So you get everything from the previous tiers plus the poster. And you guys will have to stay tuned to see what that looks like. I don't want to spoil that yet. He's got a great idea in mind, and I wanted to just let him go ham on that. Because he helped me come up with a lot of the ideas for this game, too. Um, but right now, I'm kind of at a standstill with creating the game. Uh, my 3D model list is currently working another job where he's working a lot of hours so I just I'm just gonna let him kind of readjust to his time schedule and then he'll start working on uh, characters skel uh, skeletal meshes that I can use for uh, different things and yeah um, I'm gonna start working on the storyline here this weekend so 
hopefully by next week sometime I'll at least have a storyline like the base storyline for the first level and then maybe in the next month or so I'll have all the characters set up with the their skeletal meshes and all their skeletons so they can move around and stuff and come at you try to attack and stuff like that and then I'll have it so your gun actually like you can reload your gun and stuff like that uh, but yeah that's kind of what I've been working on uh, if you want to go visit my patreon page that'll be down in the description um, make sure to like and subscribe for more content and more updates Anyways, that's all the time we have, so thank you very much. Well, that's not all the time we have. I could drag this out longer, but I'm sure you don't want me to. <laughs> all right, well, like I said, like and subscribe. Check out my Patreon page. Thanks for tuning in.